Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is you versus them. So you have to have somebody in mind. We're going to get your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you, and the feelings of towards the relationship. All right, the energy of the relationship. Before I get started, I always send out healing. So take a deep breath with me. All right, pile one, we have Tink. All right, she's my fairy. So we're using Tink for pile one. Pile two, we have the friendship angel. So we have angel for pile two, and then we have faith for pile three. We have our cross. So just take a moment, pick the pile you are most drawn to with your person in mind, okay? So you could watch all three piles with different people in mind, all right? So just pick the pile that you think goes with your person or you have, you know, you just get a feeling for. And I'll get started with pile one. All right, pile one. If you chose Tinkerbell, here we go. Let's get your energy first. I'm, roles can be reversed. I pick up one energy, so they could be switched, but I'm going to read it as yours first, then theirs. Ten of Swords, Eight of Wands, King of Cups. All right. So I, you know, Ten of Swords, I, I'm believing this is telling me that this relationship's over. This is somebody you're not currently in a relationship with. It was done. But there's still feelings here and there might be some communication coming in shortly or you might be thinking about communicating. You might be thinking about reaching out and maybe testing the water, see where they stand. Um, but yeah, you still you still have feelings for this person, even though it ended. So, I mean, it's pretty cut and dry. Let's see what they how they how they're how they are feeling <laughs> if I could speak today. So we have Ace of Cups. Let's move this a little bit over. Five of Swords and Six of Cups. So they're thinking about you too, especially with that Six of Cups. And they're trying to think of the good times, right? The, the good memories. But there was some conflict you guys fought. And although there's love there for you too, uh, I think they're worried that you know, things wouldn't change, like it would go back to the way it was. And you know, I think your person knows, like, it wouldn't work that way. You guys would have to agree to do better with each other. So they're a little more conflicted than you. You are kind of more like, I'd really like to give this a chance. I think they're kind of there too, but they are a little more hesitant than you are. So let's see. Um, what the relationship would, what the energy would be around the relationship. Five of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and High Priestess. Well, that really didn't give us much answers. We already know Queen of Pentacles is someone you're not with. Okay, so you guys are both single, or at least you're not together. All right, you guys figured out a way to be independent. Um, and there's some confusion here, some some conflict that you guys, some back and forth. Like, I miss my person, I miss what we, ha I miss the good times, but I don't want the bad times. So there is still some conflict here, and the high priestess comes in to tell you that you guys just have to either trust the way that you feel, trust your own intuition here. Um, is it possible for you guys to come back together and, and have a healthy relationship? I think so, yes. But also, I think it's like a 50-50 shot here, to be honest with you. I think the other side is, is there too, where, you know, maybe, maybe it wouldn't work again. This is saying you have to trust your intuition on this one. They're not going to give you the answer. They're going to say, if you want to try it, go ahead and try it. But if you don't, that's okay too. So I feel like the energy around the um, relationship is, 
it's up to the two of you to really work this out if you want to. So let's get a few more cards. Let's see if there's uh, a definite answer here. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. So it doesn't really tell you a whole lot more. Uh, your person probably has dark hair or is dark complected. Um, or that could be you. A, hand, a, a stranger could be important, right? Well, how? Somebody who knows your person that you talk to and you just like your person's name comes up or I don't know what, how that could be important, but a stranger is important. It, it really, it really is not telling me anything. So let's keep going here. See your seeds grow spring. Okay. So this is saying if you plant the seeds, that this could uh, come back together slowly, maybe? Very slowly, because you have to plant the seeds, you have to water them, you have to wait for them to germinate, you have to wait for them to grow. It takes time. So with time, could you guys come back together? It's possible. It's definitely possible. Open your presence, number 33. Let's see what that says. Ever seen a time-lapse film of a flower blooming? That's your new role model. Visualize yourself opening arms wide, embracing all the prosperity and abundance that's flowing your way. You're ready to receive. So this is saying, yeah, if you guys are open up to this, you guys can receive uh, the love that's here. You both have feelings here. One's got the Ace of Cups, one's got the King of Cups. That's a lot of love there between the two of you. So you both still love each other. But there was something that just didn't work out. There was some kind of conflict here. It just wasn't working. So if you open yourself up and... To, to possibilities, to new ways of thinking. Maybe you both learn and grew from the experience. Then yeah, I think that you guys can come back together. Now is the time for deep emotional healing. So this is just telling me that you guys can heal this. You can heal what went wrong. You can fix this. Reciprocity. I want to have equal give and take. So this is saying that somebody wants to make sure that if they put their heart on the line, that the other person's putting their heart on the line as well. They want this to be equal. They don't want one, one person doesn't want to have to do all the work, all the apologizing. They want it to be equal. Are you guys willing to meet in the middle? Are you guys willing to compromise? If so, this could definitely work. heart-to-heart -heart conversation that's just what needs to be had if you have a heart-to-heart -heart, lay it on the line what do you have to lose you know if you you love this person and they love you what do you have I mean if you're not together right now what do you have to lose you're already not together you might as well give it a shot so I think you should reach out and see if the conversations um, can be had. Personal riches, small successes are likely now, bigger ones are on the way, so there you go. So in other words, it's gonna be like, this might be a little bit of, this might take a little bit of effort, a little bit of work, but if you can get your person to answer a call, answer a text, agree to meet, agree to have a conversation, that's a small success. And then bigger ones will follow. All right, so your crystal card is clear calcite. 
This beautiful gem is right on track. Imagine direction, poise, and forward thinking. So this is saying that, you know, you're going in the right direction and calcite's going to lend its energy to help you guys along if this is what you both want. Let's pull you some charms. All right, what do we have? Make a wish. Make a wish because it'll come true. Put on your crown. Put on that crown of yours, right? Cut ties with the past. Cut ties with all the negativity. Uh, be open to a change, right? With the butterfly, be open to this change. You get to write this new chapter in your, in your book. You get to decide whether you want to move forward or, with this or not how it's going to go it could blossom and bloom into something beautiful if you wanted to and you could be living the good life if you guys come together in the right way i kind of feel like this was your best friend and it could be your best friend again at some point uh, you do have the keys to success so again uh, this could really work if you wanted to So, the good news is you both have feelings for each other. The bad news is this might take a little bit of effort. <laughs> you know, a little bit of a roller coaster, like a little bit of back and forth. He said, she said, you hurt me, I hurt you type of thing. But if you guys just kind of have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, this hurt me and and I'm sorry for what I did to hurt you. And can we come together? Can we compromise? Can we work together? Make that handshake deal, right? Shake on it. Hug it out. Anyway. Pile one. This one's up to you. But the signs are here that it could really work in your favor if you put the little bit of effort into it. I don't think it's going to take a lot of effort. I just think it's going to take a little bit. All right. Give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time. Love and light. All right, pile two. If you chose this angel here, then uh, this is your reading. Here we go. We're going to get your energy first, then your person's. Now, roles can be reversed, but I'm going to set it like this is your energy. Okay, so here we go. Five of Cups, Six of Cups, Ace of Wands. All right, so you know, either you're missing this person. I kind of feel like you're missing this person. Six of Cups, too. Um... You're missing this person. You think about them. You still care about them. You still think about the good times or the possibilities here. And uh, Ace of Wands tells me that you're still very attracted to your person and that you would relish a new beginning with them. It would be fun. It would be exciting. So I don't feel like you're with this person. I feel like this is somebody from the past. Let's move on to theirs. Let's see what they've got. Six of Pentacles. Tower. Three of Wands. Yeah, it, it fell apart. Tower, The tower's here. It fell apart, so it did not work. Um, but this is somebody who would uh, meet you in the middle. Somebody who would have equal give and take with you. Somebody who would be generous with you. They're just, I think they're kind of waiting for an opportunity here. Or waiting if, if an opportunity arises. I, I don't think they're going to pursue you. Uh, but if an opportunity came up, they might at that point. But not out of the blue, not just naturally. They're not just going to randomly call you. If you were to bump into them, 
at the grocery store or something, um, you know, they would come over and talk to you. Or they would give you a call and say, hey, did I see you at the store? <laughs> they would, I thought that was you, but I wasn't sure, so I didn't want to say anything. They would, but they would make contact, I think. But I don't think they're going to do it unless an opportunity arises. So I think this would might be, you know, if you want this to come to happen or to come together with this, you might have to make a move. But I definitely feel like your person still th thinks about you, still is curious about you. I'm sure they still have feelings for you, but they're not, they're living their life. They're living their life without you. They're not, you know, crying, you know, alone crying over you. They are, they're living. They're just, uh, you know, kind of like if it happens, it happens type of energy. Where I think you're more missing them. I think you have. You think about them. You dream about them. You're more missing them. Let's see. Energy of the relationship. Queen of Swords. Nine of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, okay. So, I feel like both sides, you guys didn't give up hope on each other. Like, maybe someday is kind of the theme here. Uh, maybe someday we could be together. Maybe someday. Um, I think maybe you have a little more clarity with this where you're like, I know they could be my one. I know I messed up or I know we should have made that work or something. I think you have a little more mental clarity. But I think both of you are like, both of you never completely gave up hope on it. Knight of, a page of Pentacles tells me that it would be slow progress, very slow progress, but it's doable, I think. Let's get some more cards. Work, achievement, success. Problems to be resolved. All right, so there might be some obstacles in your way, but if you work hard at it, I think that there would be success here. So I think that you guys could be in a relationship, a healthy, happy relationship, but it would take some work. So I don't know what the problems are that would have to be resolved first. Um, but yeah, it would take some effort, but I think, it, you know, it would be successful after that. Hi, priest. Intend and create. So if you want this, you have to set your intentions and create it. Create the possibility. You know, like, maybe take some action towards it. Maybe you have to reach out. Smooth and easy. Number 28. Let's see what that is. You're on easy street, my friend. The Red Sea has parted and you are now free to roam the planet. All obstacles have disappeared. Doors and windows are flying open. There is not one thing that can stop you. So, all right. So if this is saying that it would, if it, it's the opportunities there for you to reach out and to make this happen. And it would be a lot easier than you think it is. I still don't think that they're going to reach out. I think they're waiting for an opportunity. And I don't think it's going to come easy. So I think this is saying that if you want this to happen and you were to reach out and let this person know how you feel and that you're still interested or you're, you would be interested in, in rekindling something, I think it would be easy for you. I think they would be like, yeah, I'm interested. Let's do this. I don't think it would be a struggle at all. I just think the decision to do that is going to be hard. And I think that's going to be slow. Maybe figuring out how to 
make contact or something like that. That might be where the slowness comes in. But uh, I think they'd be open to it. Let's see. Chimpanzee, use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem and get answers to your questions. So this is saying uh, you can, you know, try to manifest this to come in, but there might be some action you have to take. You have to use both your knowledge and your intuition, right, to resolve this, to make this happen. So there's some action you probably have to take, some work that has to be put in, some effort that has to be made. Missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have. Oh. I kind of feel like that's you, feeling regret. I think that was you. I think you let this opportunity to be with this person slip through your fingers. Maybe you weren't sure if you wanted them. Hmm. Now, roles can be reversed, but I kind of feel like it's you. Attraction. So I do absolutely think that you guys will are both very attracted to each other. So again, I feel like that spark could be reignited pretty quickly. But let's just say the scenario happened where you let this crumble, let this fall apart. If you're the culprit here, and that's kind of a harsh word, but they might be like, well, they broke up with me. I'm not going to reach out to them. They didn't want me. You know, I'm not going to look like a fool. And that's kind of like the scenario I feel like is happening here where you might not have wanted them at the time. And but now you're feeling like you missed an opportunity. But I still feel like they're very attracted to you and I think now you're attracted to them. So they're, you know, I, I don't think it's going to be super easy, but I do feel like they're going to be open and willing. I think you just have to get your courage up. Future. Well, it's saying you have a future. You may travel or host an overseas traveler. Uh, either way, great social fun awaits. So I, I just think this is saying you guys have a future and you guys can um, have a lot of fun together in the future if, you, if this is what you want. It could work. It could definitely work. All right, we have uh, gold as your crystal. Beautiful, precious, and rare. Your love is of self. Your love of self is paramount to, to the love of any object. All right, that doesn't matter. You are rare, precious, and beautiful. That's what's important here. Um, I kind of feel like your person feels that way about you. And you might feel that way about them, but I kind of feel like they feel like that about you. but you didn't want them. That's what it feels like. I could be a little off on that for some of you, but I, I don't know. But anyway, this could totally work. So there's hope here. You guys just have to figure out a way to make it work, but it can work. Let's pull some charms. Trust your intuition on this one and put on that crown. Boss up. Boss up. And you have the key to success. Look at that heart. Look how big that heart is compared to the other heart charms. It's huge. There's going to be a lot of love here between the two of you. But, it, you know, there would have to be equal give and take. It would have to be reciprocated. Right? But it might take a little bit of effort, a little bit of work. But luck is on your side. There's a music note. Is, is there music tied to this? 
did you have a song? Did you uh, uh, listen to the same type of music? I don't know. There's something here. Did you, have, you both have the same favorite band or something like that? Something with music ties you guys together. Or is there a song that plays on the radio that makes you think of this, this person? I don't know, but music ties you somehow. Anyway, Pile 2, that is what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. All right, Pile 3, if you chose faith, then this one is your reading. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get your energy first, and then your person's, and then the energy between the two of you. Now, rules can be reversed. Keep that in mind. But my intention is that this will be your energy. Nine of Pentacles, Death Card, Emperor. Okay, Nine of Pentacles, Death Card, Emperor. Nine of Pentacles. Um, I think you're, actually, I think you're afraid this is going to come to an end. I kind of think you guys are together. Um, but you're together, but you're not, if that makes sense. It doesn't make sense to me, but I kind of feel like this person's in your life. Like, you know who this is. You, you are, you are in communication. This is not a no contact situation. This is somebody that you are talking to or somebody who's in your life, but you're single. You're not together together. And you see him as the emperor, somebody who is strong, somebody who's a leader, somebody who's in charge. This could be somebody who's older than you. Cause I feel like you're looking up to them. But there might not be a romantic connection here. Or the romance might be in question. I don't know. Let's get let's get their feelings. Maybe it'll clear it up. Seven of Cups. Four of Wands. King of Pentacles. They could definitely be older with money. I feel like they're they're the financially stable one. Ooh, is this uh, someone who's older who has money and that's why you got there might not be a romantic connection here? Ooh, I don't know, but this person knows that you have options. This person knows that you have different opportunities in front of you. This person also wants a commitment from you, though. They want to take care of you. You make them feel good. They're going to hold them. They have the purse. They, they're going to, I want to say they hold the purse strings, but I don't know. You're kind of independent. I think you could take care of yourself, but the money's nice. I think the money's nice. Hmm. Let's see. Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Well, this person's, this person's going to keep trying. They're not giving up hope. They're going to try to get you to marry them. Yeah, they they want they want they want they want to marry you. But this is someone who has patience. This is someone who will move slow. They'll take their time. They'll do what they have to. But I think they're plying you with money. I think they're very attractive because the money's there. So you have to decide, is that enough? Can this person really give you everything that you want, everything you desire? Is this a love match? I think this is something that you have to decide upon. Let's get some more cards. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goal. Successful outcome to your problem. This is saying it can happen. You could fall, you could really fall for this person if you want to. I think you just have to allow yourself to. I don't think you're allowing yourself to to like 
fall in love with this person like fully deeply I think it's because there's an age gap or there's some kind of difference here if it's not an age gap maybe it's a a different kind of difference uh, a race difference a religious difference um, that might be holding you back a little bit it kind of feels aged though with these emperors kind of feels like you're trying really hard to hold on to your independence or the difference could just be that they like you a lot more than you like them I mean it could be as simple as that it doesn't have to be an age difference but hmm there's something holding you back it feels like warrior be fearless and stand strong well that doesn't help me too much because this can mean a couple different things be a warrior and stand strong stand strong and this is not who, what you want or don't or this is what you want don't give up on it you can have this fight for it because either way whatever the situation your person is moving slow they are taking this very slow so maybe you want this person to increase their efforts I think that you would have to uh, you know kind of fight for that I don't know it can mean a couple different things but this is interesting I don't think I've ever read something like this just say now or just say no sorry 51 let's see the divine buzz everyone has a different phrase for it being in the now a connection with all that is living in the moment here's the thing there are no words that can explain it but baby you know you can feel it savor it for all it's worth so this is all about living in the now if this makes you happy now live it up don't worry about the future the future will work itself out so just be happy where you are if you're happy with this person now then be happy with this person now even if it's not a forever thing um just live in the moment enjoy enjoy don't take advantage of that but enjoy unicorn indulge your creative imaginative and magical side through some form of expression so they want you to be creative and imaginative for what though to achieve what I don't know for, to manifest what you want to to make something magical happen between you it's possible it's possible responsibilities I have to take care of my financial and emotional needs I think this is you trying to justify wanting this person because they have money or trying to justify that there's not enough emotional needs that's why you can't be with this person hmm you take it out resonates for yourself it's time to take back control of your life all right so this is like the pink devil for me right the romance devil um devil energy is holding yourself back and you got cards that said you just got to live in the now stop worrying about the future so free yourself to enjoy the moment if this person is making you happy today then be happy today if they're not going to be happy if you're not going to be happy in five years like that doesn't mean you have to sacrifice today right I mean sometimes I will tell you that you know if it's not going to work if you don't see a future why string it along but in this particular case this is saying this is okay for now this is all it is if it's a for now it's okay so and anyway and for yourself could be like if you really enjoy this person and it's 
like say the only thing that's holding your back is maybe this person is older and it looks it doesn't look good it's not a good look right and you're so you're holding yourself back from really caring about this person really moving forward this person because you're afraid of what your family will think or your friends will think and the pink devil is saying free yourself from that who cares what anybody else thinks all, all that care all that spirit cares about is how you feel in the moment they want you to be happy now they don't care about the future the future will will figure itself out so again don't don't hold yourself back because of you're afraid of what other people will think you got to do what's best for you when it's best for you simple as that love love is in the air so now i think this is saying that you could love this person i know they love you they want to marry you they want commitment from you so if you want to be loved by this person allow yourself to be loved clear quartz this is a creator stone you could create love with this you can create a lot of things quartz is very powerful it enhances every other um, stone as well so it's an amplifier so this is just saying use clear quartz's energy to help you achieve what you want to achieve here in this relationship if you want to be with this person then be with this person and if you don't then enjoy the time you have together it might not last forever then all right let me pull you some charms key to success a wish come true happiness be mine look at all this this is all saying this is a positive thing right and you have be courageous and brave with the rhino and have a thick skin if people say things that you don't like but there's a lot of abundance here and look this is saying get creative and then you got the fox who is who thinks creatively who thinks outside the box who always finds a way to get what they want or need so the fox is sly and then you got creativity there so i don't know you guys have to figure out what that means for you but it's interesting that it came up twice all right so now now again you got leo the lion so again be courageous be brave but you also got the dragonfly which for me is a spirit from heaven you know coming in to say hello and to say we're here we see you we got your back we we're still around you know just to give you something to hang on to and to know that you're still loved so it's a sign from heaven i don't know i think this is just saying that maybe they they sent this person into your life for a reason that this person's really going to help you in some way so i don't know i think it's a i think this person's in your life for a reason and i think it's a good it's be happy be blessed feel feel blessed from it no matter what happens in the future all right pile three that is what i have for you give the video a like subscribe to the channel leave me a comment all those things help me and i appreciate you for it till next time love and light